Wildfires continue to burn across the state. The tunnel fire raging on in Coconino County. It has grown to more than 21,000 acres since sparking on Sunday. Yesterday, Governor Doug Ducey declared a state of emergency in the county there. The fire is 3% contained. Several structures have been damaged and more than 700 homes are under evacuation orders. No word yet on the cause of this fire. In the Prescott area, the Crooks fire grew to 2,300 acres. At last check, it is 0% contained. We're told more than 300 firefighters are working to put out the flames. So what can you do to stay safe during this wildfire season? News 4 Tucson meteorologist Daniel McFarland has more on that and tells us how long the fire threat will last in our state. He joins us live now. Daniel. Amanda, you know these conditions we have right now are not favorable. It's been dry for a while. We're seeing a pretty significant drought and these windy conditions, but there are things you can do to prevent fires around your home. The tunnel fire outside of Flagstaff has burned more than 20,000 acres and is so far zero consent contained and it is expected to get worse if they don't get much more rain. For us here in southern Arizona, it's more of the same, but we do have a lot of smaller fires that have cropped up and spread very quickly because of the strong winds. It's especially an issue in places like Arizona and southeastern Arizona because we are in a drought. Vegetation is dry, so if anything gets sparked, then wind is going to, of course, spread that very quickly, and then the dry vegetation and dry air is going to help fuel the fire. Rural Metro Fire Chief John Walka has been dealing with an increased number of fires over the last couple of weeks because of the dry air and the strong winds. Many of these fires could have been prevented. Clearing away dry brush, tall grasses such as buffalo grasses and such that you see behind me. Uh, those are very invasive grasses that burn many times hotter and they burn faster. There are small things you can do over the weekend to keep fires away from your home. Guarded smoking materials is a big one. Another one is dragging chains when you're towing uh, trailers and such. Uh, dragging chains can cause a lot of sparks and just that one little spark can jump across the road and ignite this dry grass. The weather is not going to help us out when it comes to potential fires in the state either. Cochise County tomorrow on Saturday is looking a little bit higher, uh, about 15 to 20 miles per hour. But at, as of this time, we don't have a red flag warning in effect for tomorrow. So we're still going to see these stronger winds lasting for the next little bit. And of course, if you look behind me, you see all the brown vegetation. We're underneath a pretty significant drought. So coming up at 6, I'll be talking more about that drought. Matt, what you got going on for us right now? All right. As you were mentioning, fire danger is just that, Daniel. Very high. And that's why we've hoisted the red flag warnings through 8 o'clock all of southern Arizona. You just heard uh, from rural metro some of those tips you can do to keep fires away from your house. And of course, uh, across the desert as well. So please do your part. Uh, the highest fire danger will last through 8 o'clock tonight. In addition, we also have a wind advisory, not for the city of Tucson, but pretty much encompassing the entire area with the exception of Pima County. Pan